I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Martin. Where are you from? I'm from Galway, west of Ireland. West of Ireland. Mm. And I learned today you say you go to the north means Northern Ireland, no? No, I, I, I go to Northern Ireland, yeah. Um, to I, work there as well? Uh, I've, been, I've gone up there quite a lot recently because um, I, I suppose I find that the faith is on fire up there. I think, mm -hmm. it, like, I find the, the men up there mm -hmm. inspirational in their faith, men coming back to their faith, um, maybe, maybe men that weren't always in their faith. Mm -hmm. And I suppose in the South, mm -hmm. we've lost so much of our religion. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I'm trying to find my way back myself. So I find um, they're a motivation. Uh, uh, they're kind of loud and proud. Uh, they have no shame in in having the rosary beads, they've no shame of being in public on their knees saying the rosary. And if I if I had if I looked for one gift to Medjugorje, it would be that I would be given the courage to be like them because um, they've been through so much, and yet their faith is so strong. Now they might have sh they might have stumbled in it, mm -hmm. but um, it's like something I watched on one of your videos last week. I was trying to explain to my wife why I went to the north. It's hard to explain to somebody. And one of your videos last week was a man from Derry who lives out in Donegal. And I was watching it and I asked my wife to s come into the sitting room and watch this, mm -hmm. where a hand had come out of the TV during the Late Late Show mm -hmm. and grabbed him by the collar, telling him to come to Medjugorje. And I was saying, that's why I go to the north, because there is a chance that those moments are out there. And that would be the reason uh, for that kind of inspiration or that kind of connection with uh, the mother or God or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Most of so, them, Our yeah. Lady, God yeah. the Father, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, so I suppose we're all, we're all probably struggling and uh, yeah, you're, you're looking for those moments, yeah. Yeah. And um, you said there's a prophecy? Well, there, yeah, I went to um, another, uh, Robert, he had a video up at, uh, where he had come to Medjugorje, a great man, Robert, where he had come to Medjugorje and the Blessed Mother had asked for him to fill a, a church in with 500 men. Now, it seems impossible in Ireland, you, you think you wouldn't get 500 men to do anything. So I went on that not knowing what I was doing and it blew my mind because not alone did he get 500, he filled a massive church in Derry with approximately a thousand men. Mm -hmm. And when you see a thousand men on their knees in adoration, like you have to be moved. And uh, there's a moment in it I'll never forget. They priest or deacon started to say the Ave Maria and it was as if the thousand men were trained, every one st started to sing in unison and I, I even surprised myself because I didn't even think I knew the Ave Maria but somehow or other I knew it and uh, everyone knew it and they sang it and I swear to God it, um, it was so powerful, it was beautiful, it, it raised the roof off that long tower church in, uh, in Derry. Yeah, so I mean, it's isn't it a bit in us, man? We want to be knights, yeah. be knights of Our Lady in, in, in the third warriors. We are made <laughs> men to be warriors, no? Yeah, yeah. In a certain way. In know? a certain way, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's our nature. I it's mean, our nature. It's got a bit lost now. It has got lost. I think if we, if the men, could find our way back, mm -hmm. the rest would follow. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beautiful. And how many times have you been in Medjugorje? This is my first time. I'm, um, first, I'm here two, time. two days. Two days. Uh, and how's two, the first impression? Yeah. Uh, the first impression, this, um, our mother is here. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can feel it. Uh, you can see it in the kids. I went to um, Mostar, to the Stations of the Cross, just, just back. Uh -huh. And in Mostar, in Mostar, there's a, yes. a mountain that you climb. That the, the station, crosses, the cro yeah, the with the cross, there were the big cross. Okay, yeah. 
and there's the stations across okay, and the process up uh -huh. and we've done um, yeah. the stations of the cross mm -hmm. from the point of view of the mother mm -hmm. and it was it's so um, moving it's so moving oh like when you like as a parent you would take you do anything for your for your children and you can you you hear the mother struggling watching her son suffer and it's so so uh, inspirational and uh, so emotional as well yes. but as we were coming back down i was watching little te teenage girls come going up the hill and it's quite a hike and i think they're talking to themselves and then i get we get closer and you realize they're actually saying the rosary they're little teenage girls and you know that's where do we see that in the west in where Germany, we see it in no Ireland, no Spain, we don't see it they'd be embarrassed Republic. they'd be embarrassed yes. so it's definitely it's definitely here our guide mm -hmm. um she's unbelievable um you, you can tell she's not it's not because she's doing a job it's coming from her heart she means everything she's saying she starts pr she starts prayers she start and it's not it's not put on for us tourists it's uh, like she means every word she's saying it's um you know this and everyone you meet and everyone that's here in, in and we're, there's a bus uh, i joined a group there from uh, jw tours and uh, they're all in their faith some from all their lives others like myself new or newer mm -hmm. but um and so willing to help each other as well and share little stories and it's funny as the as it goes on each day you end up talking to somebody and you hear a story or you share a story and you get something back that you actually need it you know a little a little nugget and um that's and it's only two days in and i've mm -hmm. got to have a few more to go so yeah but you said um, you got this special rosary here yeah uh, well can you show that rosary it's yeah, beautiful. It's, yeah well it's um and the I, story about that rosary is well yeah. i was doing a job mm -hmm. this week two years ago mm -hmm. and um, i was actually doing demolition in a home in uh, where i come from mm -hmm. And as I was knocking walls on Good Friday, mm -hmm. the family were saying the rosary. And one of the daughters mm -hmm. came to the, to the side where I was working and shared the details, I suppose, of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and what literally he suffered down to like the smallest details. And I suppose that was definitely one of the moments because um, it, it, it went through me as she spoke. Um, mm -hmm. And eventually, later in that project, she gave me these rosary beads. And um, it's brilliant because the stations are the... Um, the, um, the lesson of the rosary are on it. And it helped me. I learned to. I learned the rosary from it, mm -hmm. and from there, I suppose that's the reason I'm probably here. You know, mm -hmm. little by little, Mother Mary kind of she, dra your heart. she she drags you along. <laughs> she drags you along with your willing or not. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, like a mother, no. Come yeah, on, like boy, a, come exactly on. like a mother. She's like a mother. Yeah, she's waiting patiently for you to uh, yeah to see what she's trying to say to you. So no. Uh, that's that's pretty beautiful. Yeah. And how is it for you not to pray the rosary? Uh, it's wonderful. I, I probably pray it better on my own mm -hmm. than in groups. But um, I, I, if I don't say the rosary, if I miss a day, it's like I've missed my dinner. I, 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 I know it's it's not complete. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I got into the habit of saying it as I drive to work. So um, I suppose it's. I have, a, I have a slot of time to drive and uh, I use that to, 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 to say the rosary and I, I use it other times as well. But and what, does, what do you gain from the prayer? How is it for you to pray? Um, okay. Well, it's like 
it's like you've been a bold child and the mother is waiting for you to come back in mm -hmm. and by praying the rosary you're <laughs> you're getting in our good books again <laughs> so and, and honest to it's honest it. to goodness we uh, you want to be in your mother's good books and let's face it like mm -hmm. old or young you know you want to be in your mother's good books yes. so and my mo my own mum was uh, had a powerful faith unbelievable faith yeah First i think that to you yeah because uh, as a child it was i was very uh, very religious mm -hmm. uh, i prayed a lot but like everything you you lose it along the way life uh, life takes over and uh, kind of knocks you about and uh, you lose your faith you get too busy in the world mm -hmm. yeah so happened to me yeah. it happens to everybody yeah but even saying that and, I, and i'm not i'm not young but and sometimes i question why did why did i wait so long to get back into it but when you're out of your faith for a long time it's all the sweeter when you come back. It's like it's like a Good Friday a fasting. Mm -hmm. When you taste your dinner uh, after doing a fast, it's all the sweeter. So it's the same with uh, going back to your faith. It's um, the conscious process. You take a decision yeah. this time before yeah. it was taught, and now it's yeah. now. Now what I tr when you say, let's say for example, you say the Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. And when I'm doing it properly and, and doing it, um, if you can drop into your heart and say it as if you're saying it to your mother, like each word, it is, it's completely different gravy. It's, um, it's not like she's there, but you you're, you're, you're feel like you're lifted up and she might stoop down a little bit to meet you, or probably a lot. But you feel uh, it's uh, so much more uh, powerful. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. And you got to confession? Would you believe it, Tom? I was on my way to confession when I met you. <laughs> <laughs> You've interrupted. I've had three. Sorry, it's not the No problem. No. This, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, I was. I have to find um, Father Leopold, yeah. the priest. Uh, Father the, Leon. Leon, thank you. No, there, there's a little priest here. Yeah, ah, Leopold to the statue. The statue. Yeah. Pray to him, and then the priest will show up because this is my third attempt to go to confession, and it hasn't happened yet. So, uh, but I wasn't I'm not beating myself up. I'm going to go to Leopold mm -hmm. and let him show me okay, a priest. That's the, third, the third time it sounds like when Jesus asked him, "Do you yeah. love me?" Yeah. Three times he asked you now, "Do you love me?" Yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah. That's a confession is that, "Do you love me?" No, in yeah. a certain way, he asked us to come to him back into his. Um, friendship, no? Yeah. Well, even the first time mm -hmm. I had confession in Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, when I came back, when I was trying to say the rosary, mm -hmm. it took me several attempts to to get there. To the confession? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd, I, I, I was getting very, very frustrated because I'd feel, I felt like I wasn't getting, I was asking for help, like, surely a priest will show up, someone will, will guide me. And they, I ended up going to knock and I found the most compassionate, old, uh, the withered hands of an old man mm -hmm. who was fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Thirty something years of uh, well, no confession. Ah, for you not to not to go. Home. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot to uh, there talk was about. A, you know, there was a lot to talk about, and of course, I probably forgot half it. But he, uh -huh. he's uh, he. He gave me absolution one way or the other, but um, how was that? It was, moment? it was brilliant because uh, there's so much you have to unload, and another thing I suppose I've realised as well is things we took for granted are things that we did that we didn't even maybe fully comprehend that they were against God. Do you mm -hmm. know? Uh, because you didn't do something, okay, I didn't do anything, else, but maybe you didn't do the right thing either. So, and every day I find as well, uh, you're, you're learning another little bit, another, she's opening another little door of your mind or your heart. So you get deeper into it. You, um, you know, you walk past the, the person that's homeless one time you mightn't have you might have given 
the two euros or whatever. Uh, but now if you actually walk past, you feel guilty. Yeah, so you got, you got to see God in everybody. And before you know, walls past and come up with some excuse to justify that, well, they are there because of choice. But mm-hmm. no, yeah, it's no. Sh- and the, the the problem is the more you know, the more difficult it is because now that you know, you can't unknow. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance was bliss. Yeah. <laughs> and they, well, but what would you tell people? I know you ha- you made the experience as well. Twenty years, thirty years, not of confession. If somebody's scared to go, and what would the priest think of me? What would you tell them as an advice out of your experience? Now? Out of my experience, uh, you have nothing to be ashamed of because, regardless of what you've done, mm-hmm. they have heard it a hundred times, and probably they are more delighted to hear a. Um, full confession from somebody that yeah. has sinned than hearing mundane stories from someone that's pious and because when you have something genuine they it's honest it's authentic as Jesus said one true hearty repented person yeah. delights the father more than no I it's can imagine like that, no? well yeah. as, a, as a priest yeah. they have to be ecstatic I'm doing my job. Yeah. I've just pulled another one to you, Mary. Yeah. So I'm doing my to job. Jesus. Yeah, to Mary. Jesus. Well, it's, it's all the same, yeah. same, same direction. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they're fully doing their job, and they're they're in their element. I'd imagine yeah. they're delighted. Yes. It's like they're just giving you a gift. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gift you that confirm you could, their vocation if somebody yeah. comes like you. Know, yeah. It's like, and uh-huh. um, I think there's another lovely thing as well in the confessional. Um, Last time I went, the priest asked me to pray for him, mm-hmm. and it was like you could give something back to him because he's given you a gift, you know. So you could actually return it because it, their their struggle has to be difficult. I only realise it now that I, you know, it has to be really difficult. So delighted to to be able to return something to mm-hmm. to them. So yeah. beautiful. And you know, a lot of people think God the Father is an angry old man with a white beard. Yeah. And he wants to judge us and put us to hell. And it's not like that. No, how, it's not. He? No, he's not like that. I, I find mm-hmm. my approach is I, I have to talk to Mary, mm-hmm. to talk to Jesus, mm-hmm. to talk to the Father. Mm-hmm. It's like, maybe I'm not quite... You feel wor- more safe. Yeah, that, it's okay. like, yeah, she, she'll walk with you. And like a mother. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, like a mother, yeah. Most of the father who's a bit more strict. <laughs> a bit more strict, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so probably with maybe a little bit of fear mm-hmm. of him because um, his standards are quite high. Yeah. So and we might be quite there yet. But it's it's he's he's forgiving. He oh, he's to, he's forgiving. He, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's not not so well, judgmental I'd, and waiting to put you to hell. It's not. Yeah, like I'd prefer to be. He's love. Yeah, I'd prefer to be aware. Mm-hmm. And then, rather than being ignorant, and that bliss uh, is delusional. You know, you're you're better off knowing the reality. Yeah. Yeah, so. Beautiful. And how long are you married? Uh, got my poor missus. Uh, <laughs> I I wish I just uh, share a little story uh-huh. from one of your videos. Yeah. I was trying to explain to my good wife. Yeah. Um, why I why I went to Derry or why I went to Belfast last weekend, mm-hmm. and you had a guy on from Derry mm-hmm. living in um, living in Donegal, mm-hmm. and he was telling the story of listening to the Late Late Show, mm-hmm. and a hand came out of the TV, mm-hmm. grabbed him by the scruff of the neck, and told him to go to Medjugorje, mm-hmm. and I was saying. That's why I'm going to Medjugorje. That's why I'm going to Belfast. That's why I go to Derry to f- get that get mom- that hand. Get that right? hand. Yeah, uh-huh. drag me along. Because you, you couldn't explain it to somebody. Yeah. Like if you try to explain that to uh, to some, you know, you'd be locked up because it it like it defies logic, and mm-hmm. we're in our heads full time. So like those, and he came to Medjugorje minus seventeen. So uh, thumbs up to that guy because. Uh, He's an inspiration to many as well. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's beautiful. It. And so, so um, your wife brought you to Medjugorje? No, I, I came by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I came but by myself. But how you got the idea then? Did that come? How did the idea to get here? Um, I've been asking, I suppose, 
I, w I didn't know what to do, mm -hmm. so I was asking, should I do the Camino? Mm -hmm. Should I do Medjugorje? Mm -hmm. And everything, I think, eventually shows up when you need it. Mm -hmm. So um, I just made a decision in January, and I made a phone call to a uh, travel agent, and I just booked it. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And um, you said you came back after a long time to your faith. Was there a pivotal moment where you said... I there was a... Uh, like, like a... Like reborn in the spirit, something or something? I think it was just... Um, well, Suffering? The, ro oh, the rosary, this rosary. The rosary beads, I think, definitely. That's the wonder of yeah. God Friday in a certain yeah, way, Yeah, no? I think once I started uh, praying the rosary, um, once I started praying the rosary, y you kind of get a hunger for more. Yeah. You know, uh, you start to understand it deeper, mm -hmm. you get a hunger for more, and the more you learn, the more essential you realize it is. Mm -hmm. You know, that um, we're here only for a short time, and someone described it last week to me as like a rope that's infinite, but the start of the rope is marked in red, and the red is your life, and the infinite is, is afterlife and what you do in this determines where you go in that. So, um, there's a good bit of my rope over. Mm -hmm. So, I better get, if I want that sorted, I better get my act together and... Uh, Beautiful what you said. Yeah, well... And um, there was something else I wanted to ask, something very nice. Um, but look, a lot of people look for vocation here. Can how, how, how did you find your wife? Because uh, a lot of people ask, I want to have a Christian partner or yeah. a partner. How, how, how happened it to you? Um, my wife, I'd, well, I don't know, did she save me or did I save her? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Together maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe, well, I suppose one of the things I pray for is, uh, I pray for my son, and I pray for my wife. Um, you know, I suppose we all we all find things. That my my wife and my son are both uh, very good people, mm -hmm. um, independent of of religion, mm -hmm. but they be just uh, good nature. Mm -hmm. But um, we all probably find it when we need it, a deeper faith. So mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful. And you know, you you start two years ago. You got the rosary on God. And this and this well, not God exactly God. this week, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably the process started on, on okay. this week. Yeah, this and also I want to say there, you know, you knock down walls in the I, house. I was it's doing like maybe spiritually walking, <laughs> knocking down walls, yeah. physically visible, and yeah. they gave you back the rosary. It's yeah. an interaction always. It's probably, yeah. But did the, your, your um, marriage life, your family life change when you start praying the rosary? Did something happen? Um, nothing, nothing significant. Mm. Um, well, probably they don't... Um, it's this wouldn't be me normally so mm -hmm. it's probably an adjustment for them also because yeah. I lived in the world yeah. and uh, I th that was my life and it's a transformation that i would probably gone through maybe well mm -hmm. I was going to say privately but that's over now thanks Tom <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not bad, yeah. but uh, yeah that's what you want to say yeah that's it so yeah. and the other thing is um, I said it in, in something recently, it's time to stand your ground. So it's time, more like those northern men who are proud and loud and, and are not ashamed of their faith to, uh, to stand up and be counted, you know, because we're living in a, in a world that's, that's insane and seems to be heading in, in a direction that uh, I, don't, I definitely don't want to be part of. So. That's yeah. right. We yeah. have to stand up. And yeah, we have around. to. Yeah. It's an illusion that it's so powerful. The darkness. It is. It is it's, not. It is. It's not. I want to say. I it's heard a, it's an illusion. I heard something beautiful uh, recently from a from a priest from Limerick. Uh, the battle is already won. Yeah, we know. It's it, already we know won. The story from the end. Yeah, it's already won. Our lady so will triumph. He's wasting his time, but. And uh, maybe to help her triumph, what would you tell people? Why should they come on time to Medjugorje after that? your first impression? You know. If. Yeah, it's it's difficult to describe. Uh, I'd, I'd ask anyone to come because it does, it's definitely a special place. You can feel her presence here. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the people. Mm -hmm. um, you can see it in the young people. You can see it in everybody. Mm -hmm. They have a powerful faith. 
mm -hmm. uh, something we probably it's there at home but we've probably lost it mm -hmm. you know but it's it's not dead mm -hmm. it's just uh, dormant yes. uh, and uh, yeah you can get yeah. a life you can get a life a booster yeah. shot of faith if okay. if you come here she'll find well she knows you're here she'll 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 put people in 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 your your path mm -hmm. that'll that'll uh, that'll be of help mm -hmm. that'll take you the next step mm -hmm. yeah beautiful yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. and what do you think i got a new slogan <laughs> a testimony a day keeps the devil away <laughs> <laughs> perfect yeah thank you so much for that and you because you're an inspiration to loads of people and god bless you yeah thank you sir thank you